Right, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no? Kung saan man kayo nanonood, right? Uh, this is Chart Week Session. And this is a quick review, no? Very quick review, bullet type review ng mga charts na ni-request sa Investorom sa YouTube. And I really do understand, no? Kung gano'ng kahirap yung trading. And this is a guide, this is a second opinion, no? Right? Uh para sa mga positions nyo and you have to understand na yung final decision is would rest upon you definitely I am not your guru but I'm here to help you no? to be at least profitable or kahit man ang mapabilis natin learning curve mo no? towards uh, better trading no? right before we start let's read yung verse no? napakaganda whoever is kind to the poor Thanks to the Lord, and He will reward them for what they have done. No? Ang ganda ng ano nito, ang ganda ng verse na to, kasi uh, yung may utos, tapos may pangako. No? And He is not slack, no? pagdating sa mga promises niya. Uh, talagang tuto pa rin niya. No? Imagine mo nilang ang garang tutor mo is the Lord. And napaka, ano na, napaka refreshing, no? Again, dito kasi sa mundo natin, we tend to think of ourselves, no? I mean, ilan na ba yung nabalita mo na tao na has already hit yung 5 million, no? Or 10 million, and then pagdating nila doon, sa status na yun, uh, nadidepress sila kasi yung pera nila was not, uh, no, able them to make them happy, no? They feel empty, no? So again, Yung pera mo is bigyan mo ng mga kahulugan, right? Uh, kasi uh, darating at darating ka talaga sa punto na lalo na pagka naging magaling ka sa trading is hindi mo na kailangan ng pera, no? Mas nagiging less yung, ano niya, yung value niya, no? So, ito nga. Uh, pansin mo na may utos na to, talagang may, may reward, no? May reward, no? the word reward yung ano yung binibigay sa dito no again i'm not going to na hindi ako magsasawa no na i-endorse sa inyo to read your bible daily no make it a habit no and probably uh, you will find something more no more than yung mga practical advices and i'm guaranteeing that no and let's now proceed, no? Alright, uh, PSEI recap rules, no? These are the rules na I follow myself. And once you understand these rules and nakita mo kung paano talaga siya gumagana, uh, malaki yung may tutulong sa trading, no? no? Kasi may interest na nagtatagal ka naman sa trading, you would understand na hindi naman puro technical yung nagmamatter. It's not all about the charts, but since it's more all about yung how you manage yourself, kung gaano makilala yung sarili mo, and kung ano yung mga ano, ground rules mo, no? yun yung mga importante. No? Nagiging less and less yung technical, kasi nga, uh, pwedeng bullish sa'yo, pero pag binasa niya naman yung chart, pwedeng bearish. No? You will find a way, one way or another, na maging bullish or bearish yung isang chart. No? Depende talaga sa iyan. But ang mahalaga itong mga rules na to. And number one is take responsibility of your trades. no. Once na ma-realize mo na wala nang tutulong sa iyo dito or wala nang ibang aasahan kundi yung sarili mo, then that's it. no. Magpupursigi ka, you will learn, you will uh, review yung mga charts. And as you are doing, no? You are viewing yung mga ganitong helpful na YouTube channels. And that's taking responsibility, no? That's one one form, no? Of taking responsibility. And again, uh, protect your capital, no? Napakahalagang concept din na malaman mo kasi uh, you don't let yourself to be knocked out by the haymaker punch, no? I mean, what I mean, yung mga drawdown na 50% and 70 to 90% drawdown. 
Alright? Uh, just manage your losses, no? Kasi mas mahirap makabalik. And I'm guaranteeing you, kapag ka nahati yung portfolio mo sa 50%, uh, hindi ka na niyan matutuwa, no? And you will lose interest, no? And you probably, you're going to quit, no? Itong trading, no? Kasi nga, uh, first uh, year pa lang yata, no? So, marami yung nag-apply and then marami rin yung nakawala ng interest sa trading, no? And number three, keep in mind that trading is all about probabilities, no? Another key concept na pag naintindihan mo is you will free yourself, no? From yung controlling the market, no? You let it flow. You let it uh, do, its, do its thing and you're just, ano, being synchronized, no? Sa market, no? And kahit nga gano kagandang setup yan, uh, pwede pa rin yung, you know, maging bearish or ma manigate yung analysis mo, no? Pwede news, pwede macroeconomics, no? Sa globally, naapektuhan yung stocks mo. No? So, maraming factors, no? Kaya, it's all about probabilities talaga. Alright, let's uh, review, no? Alright, yung una natin is yung STI. For the last three months, is on a downward spiral. And then, last week, uh, nagpakita siya ng, ano, ng reversal, no? Napakalaking volume. And napakalaking candle na yun. So, nagpost na isang araw. And then, nag-continuation, no? So, in, uh, at this point in time, hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung nangyayari dito sa STI na to. But, uh, recently, it was disclosed na merong, uh, ano, 6 cents na dividend, no? So, sa 60, this is 10%, no? And, dito, at this area, siguro may mga 6% na return ka pa rin. But, uh, I want to tell you na pagka ganito is, Marami naman yung bumibili, no? Ng isang stock, uh, kukunin nila yung dividend and then lalabas, no? So, I do believe na you have to to time, no? Yung yung pagbili mo rito sa STI kasi nga uh, baka mabuhusan ka lang din, no? And do I think na bababa ulit siya sa 0.6 level? Medyo sa tingin ko mahirapan siya, no? So, if you're picking STI for a long term, medyo abangan mo lang. Tingin ko, there will be a pullback, no? Sa STI. And that's our take sa STI. Okay, alright. Uh, MRC Allied. Uh, MRC Allied last week, di ba? Sabi ko, seems to be following the trend. And then, maganda yung close niya last Friday, no? Eto. Uh, VAT. Again, ang nangyari is hindi na sustain yung momentum and MRC Allied yung DNA nito or yung parang karakteristik nito is napakabilis talaga. No? So, I keep telling you na wag mong itrade to. Lalo pa't pagbago ka kasi maubos at maubos talaga yung kapital mo. No? Alright, hopefully you were able to to lessen yung position mo rito. No? At least dito, this is a big warning sign na, no? So, kung dito pa lang, sana nakapag-cut ka na. And then, another uh, cut dito. Binigyan ka ng pagkakataon para mag-cut dito, no? Uh, yun lang. Uh, MRC, uh, definitely, wala na siyang momentum ngayon, no? Technically speaking, yun lang yung pag-asa sana nito. But, uh, MRC, it's already broken down yung, ano? And... Palagi ko, this will consolidate muna, no? But if you want, pwede kang pumuesto siguro sa point, uh, 57 or 58. If you would want to, ano, to position sa MRC. Again, marami rin itong projects, but uh, wala pang disclosures. And let's try to see, no? Kung ano yung magiging movement ng MRC, no? But looking at it, mukhang wala na yung momentum. You might want to shift yung funds mo sa ibang ano sa ibang stock mo right that's uh, my take sa MRC uh, let's now proceed sa Vulcan no Vulcan again this is another uh, purely technical play no 
but uh, nandito sa squeeze there's a big doji and galing sa squeeze and a big doji definitely it will drop so ganun ngayon nangyari nag drop and then further shakedown last Thursday no but it was able to bounce and now it's closing at 1.98 ano ba yung gagawin natin dito sa Vulcan again sa Vulcan uh, I'm really worried dito no sa candle na to mukhang merong isang isa or grupo ng mga traders na malalaking hawak nila dito so nagano sila na to take profit no probably sila yung mga bumili rito no at minibenta na nila ngayon dito alright uh, 1.98 seems to be a good area no support so ako naman bago ako bumili ito I would want to check if ma may maintain niya tong presyo na to no but if not again this is a uh, purely technical uh, perspective uh, stay away muna dito no sa Vulcan no kasi nga hindi pa natin alam yung general direction ng market right uh, that's our take for Vulcan let's now proceed sa technical uh, sa ATN Holdings no ATN Holdings again napakaganda no dalawang Uh, dito, dito nag doji siya no indecision and for the last three weeks is nag slide siya no again ATN we're seeing 1.4 as immediate resistance no and mukhang hindi magiging maganda yung risk reward ratio mo no? kapag ka pumasok ka sa ATN no galing sa technical squeeze actually nag gap up pa nga eh no and then pagka ipuput mo siya sa background currently mukhang hindi niya masusustain to no at 1.29 uh, you might want to to hold and wait on the sideline no kung ano yung mangyayari sa ATN and yung volume naman is hindi naman din gano ka convincing no it does not look like yung ano yung tunay na reversal talaga again if you have already catch this sa uh, position na to, you might want to trim down no, and take profit no, for ATN Holdings. And this is Tugs, no? Alright, so Harbor, Harbor Start Harbor Star Stock, no? Again, yung reversal nangyari dito, yung, yung bounce play sana, no? But one day lang yung binigay and then diretso naman siya, no? sa side na to. Alright, sa 2.72, uh, there was a disclosure this week na there will be a buyback program no, pagdating sa tags. And, currently, 2.72, I think this is a good buy, no? Considering na may overriding news siya, and, yung tags, you might want to, to check, no? Or consider. Once na makita natin kung ano yung reaction ng tao dun sa buyback na yun. Again, there's a significant accumulation area dito. No? And buti tumalbog naman siya dito. No? Uh, this was a performer last uh, year but ngayon medyo na fall siya. Alright, uh, again, this is URC, no? an index name and... Just by looking at it, mukhang magsa-sideways na siya, no? And mukhang mahihirapan na siya na tumaas, no? Immediate resistance at around 150 area, no? And you may want to accumulate sa 140, no? Currently, it's 140, 450. Uh, it's going to be on a sideways, no? Before continuing, no? Or before tumaas ulit siya, no? Again, Universal Rubina Corporation, marami siyang recent moves na ginawa to finally turn around the company, no? Maraming, ano, acquisitions din, no? But looking at it, mukhang medyo napapagod na. It looks like uh, it's going to remain on a sideways movement, no? For the next, next week, no? Right, that's our take for URC. Let's now proceed with IRC. So, 
So anything below 2.30 no, it's a good buy already kasi nga uh, last week if you were able to monitor the market no, nagkaroon ng sell off na malaki dito sa area na to. No, this Thursday and din ang haba nung nung tail. Marami yung nabentahan. Na thinking na talagang it's one of the trap no pagdating ng mga insti. Uh, bebenta sila ng bebenta and then pag bumaba na matindi talaga doon naman sila sa salok no? right, I hope you have learned your lessons and from big candle lumiit I think it's going to to do some uptrend no? itong IRC and this looks like a bagger stock no, in the making but currently with the market condition being very weak medyo mahirap no Mahirap siya umabante. And again, anything below 2.30 is a good buy. Uh, that's our take for IRC. Alright, let's move on to Abacor. No? Alright, Abacor, if you have not yet uh, remembered, that's Friday. He tried to break out of the 0.45 area. That's a significant move. But, Uh, merong nag-liquidate, no? merong kumontra sa kanya. No? So, makapansin mo, ito is nagkaroon ng doji. No? And volume-wise, tumaas din. No? So, Abacor, I really do believe kung last year na tumaas to ng ganito, this would be a bagger stock. No? Same with IRC. But currently, the market is getting weak. No? So, marami nagtitake profit na. And from what I'm seeing, there's a big, big resistance at 0.45 and 0.44, no? So, you may want to consolidate yung, ano muna, yung stock before placing our order. Kasi, uh, Abacor is hindi natin alam, no? Very volatile din to. And isang labas lang ng news, pwede niyang mabago yung stock, no? Pwede niya mapataas pang lalo, no? Once na na-overage siya ng news. Again, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood and I hope you're getting value of this. And if you have not yet subscribed, no? You may want to subscribe sa channel PSEI Recap. Again, ang update natin would be Friday or Saturday. And maraming maraming salamat. Again, uh, please do chat, no? Yung sa... Uh, comment box please uh, comment or like no if you were able to get something no 